everyone, I'm Abby and my pronouns are she, her and today I'm going to be taking you on a whistle stop tour of all the best historical places in York. So let's go! So I'm at the bus stop and I almost stacked it about five times on the way here but it's fine, we're gonna get the next bus and head towards York Minster. Okay, so as you can see, the Minster is absolutely stunning. I mean, for obvious reasons, that's probably why it's so popular. I mean, there's also the fact that it's a place of huge historic significance, but I mean, yep, carry on. But yeah, on to the next place. Okay, so I don't actually know the history of this place. Maybe I'll add a little bit in the voiceover. Fun fact, so it turns out that St. William's College was actually originally built to provide accommodation for priests attached to the Chantry chapels at nearby York Minster, so there you go. I absolutely love this little area of York. There's some of the cutest cafes ever. Honestly, highly recommend them. Cupcake or it, oh, so good. But yeah, this cute little, little courtyard is just adorable. Um, so yeah, definitely come and try cupcake. Okay, so I'm at Merchants Hall, which is the most amazing building and cafe. So I definitely recommend coming and giving it a look if you're in the area. I'm at the Minster Gardens now, hence you can see the Minster in the background, and it's honestly so so pretty especially in the summer because everyone comes here and has little picnics with their friends which is adorable if i had friends i would also come for picnics and then there's this really old building here i'll get you some shots of it don't you worry which i don't know what it is she says while standing literally about two meters from a sign but i'm pretty sure i read somewhere it's haunted so that's fun we love ghosts <laughs> Unfortunately, Treasurer's house was actually shut when I visited, but this is a picture of what it looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to quickly whiz through a few places. So Clifford's Tower, I think, is currently under repair construction. It's still cute-ish. And York Castle Museum is absolutely incredible. There's a Kirkgate Street in the museum, which is so cool. And then there's York Station, which is honestly the best station I've ever been to. Oh, there's my flatmate. And York City Walls, I mean, just iconic, right? We all know what they are. This building, I just think looks super pretty. So yeah. Then there's the York Explore Library and Archives and the York Art Gallery, which are both beautiful historical buildings. This is a warning. In the next clip, I go so unbelievably posh and yes, it annoys me too, so I'm sorry. This is King's Manor. I believe it's where the archaeology students are based. Fun fact, I actually almost took archaeology. Yeah, it's super pretty and I'm kind of jealous that history isn't based here. So if the uni would like to get on that, I'd greatly appreciate it. Here's a little known fact about the York Museum Gardens. If you go straight through the gates, turn right, you will be able to see St. Leonard's Hospital, in which there are a ton of information boards with details about the grounds itself and like the history of the Abbey and things like that. So definitely go and give those a read, they're great fun. And often there's some pigeons sitting in here, which is quite fun too. Unless you're me, who's scared of birds, but yeah, great fun. I know what you're thinking. Abby, the shambles on the most iconic street in York. Why is there only two seconds of video? I'll tell you why, because it is honestly the most stress-inducing street I've ever been down. So have some pictures instead. In my opinion, Heslington Hall is the most beautiful place on campus and I definitely think more people should know about it. Within the grounds is the quiet place where you can hire it out to work in or pray in if you would like. And I think with that, it brings us to the end of the video. I've been Abby, and these have been my favourite historical places in York. <laughs>